Hello and welcome to the Hellraiser blog. Please guys, if you enjoyed today's blog, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board for further predictions, uh, previews and analysis um, and predictions. Um, okay, so <clears throat> today's blog, I'm going to focus on a fight which is on the undercard, the James DeGale against uh, Chris Eubank Jr. at the O2. And it's Andre Sterling against Ricky Summers. Um, so firstly, okay, so... Since this fight was announced, I've actually been bombarded. And I, I thought this fight would almost... Um, the job would be to get it to go above the radar, because I thought it's quite easily going to slip under the radar. Um, both of the boxers are actually quite uh, sort of dignified, quite sort of um, quietly spoken people, and I just thought it, it's not the sort of fight that everyone... Because no one really knows them yet. But I saw the value in the fight... Um, really being in the opportunity that both of them get. It's an eliminator for the British title, and uh, it's an opportunity to get on ITV, which has a huge, huge platform, and uh, lots of people will, will see the fight. <clears throat> so we've gone ahead. Um, the, the way that I see it going, I think it, it favours Andre very well, and this is what I think everyone's hoping that I'm, I, I was going to say is, yes, that's a nailed on win, you know, get your money on. But I I don't think it's a nailed on win. I think it's a hard fight. Ricky Summers, very tall and awkward. We saw him against uh, Frank Buglioni. Um, and he, he caused problems at times. Um, I've watched uh, Ricky Summers in fights against journeymen where you can see he likes to take his time. He likes to have space. He likes to... Um, be able to uh, to pick his guys off. Well, Andre Sterling is all wrong for that because Andre Sterling will be in his face from the start and uh, basically bombing him with, with with hard punches right from the off. Which means that that relaxed, laid back, uh, long range style that Ricky Summers likes. I don't think it's going to happen. I think he's going to be forced into having a fight because. There, there won't really be that much option. Um, and I think that suits Andre Sterling. Um, Andre Sterling's odds on, so is he tremendous value? I, no, I mean, I've already done a blog on the, the James DeGale, Chris Eubank fight where I think you've got remarkable value. James DeGale is the underdog. That to me, I mean, I feel like it's nailed on. I mean, I, I think that is a, a, a no brainer. I can get it wrong, same as everyone else can. So be cautious with your betting. But I think that is. Uh, the best betting opportunity certainly of the year so far, uh, James DeGale to beat Chris Eubank Jr. Uh, whichever way, I never go for like points or knockout. Very, very rarely. Um, and in this fight, I, I go for you know just a win for James DeGale. But I think, for me, that's a no-brainer. I mean, we'll see. I mean, how often do the bookmakers get it wrong? Not so often, but sometimes they do. Um, and that's where we like to pant. So here for Sterling against uh, Ricky Summers. Um, is it nailed on? No. Are we rolling the dice? Yes. But it's worth rolling the dice because Andre Sterling, um, although he's a good boxer, his profile, um, his, certainly his paydays, you know, the way that um, it's gone for him so far, it's been hard. He hasn't earned the big paydays. And to get him to there, we've got to roll the dice at some point. Here, there's a, a lot to play for because it's an eliminator for the British title. Um, it's against Ricky Summers, and the th one thing that I liked about it is that Frank Buglioni, who's a decent boxer, good boxer even, um, he won the fight by heaping pressure on Ricky Summers. And for my money, uh, you know, Andre Sterling puts a lot more pressure than, than Frank Buglioni was able to. And because it was the pressure that wilted him, that's pushed us all in that direction, right, we want to make this fight, we'll accept it, and um, will Ricky Summers be able to keep up with Andre Sterling's pressure, I mean, <laughs> he'll have to show something better than he has shown before if he is, if he doesn't, he'll get beat, and that will suit me very well because we need Andre now to, uh, like I said, to raise his profile, his ranking, to get right in the mix for the British title. He's a good, good class boxer, Andre Sterling, like I say, because he's been on small shows, uh, struggling to, to, to sell his tickets and getting by, and he, he has picked up momentum. As he's gone along, it's got a lot better. 
but we needed this platform that we've got on ITV, we needed the challenge um, of the British Eliminator to really give him uh, the opportunity to, to raise his profile and get himself in the mix because he definitely belongs in there. Now I remember at one point we, we were sort of probing as to whether we could make a fight with Andre Sterling and Frank Puglioni. And the response we got was like, oh, well, you know, you're not on our level, basically. You know, we, we're up here and you're, you're not. And I remember thinking, well, in, in fairness, um, and what they've done so far, you could be forgiven for thinking that. But in terms of actual boxing ability, I thought this, this is absolutely... I mean, I would favour Sterling to beat Buglioni. I'm not saying it would be um, in any way an easy fight or even a fight that he could possibly lose. He could possibly lose that fight. But I thought if I was to say one or the other, I would go for Sterling to win that fight. But it's just that not enough people have seen Sterling boxing. He hasn't got the profile yet for the demand for it to be created or for the demand to be there so we had to sort of do what we did uh, Andre Sterling went and fought uh, Kurt Garvey uh, on not on my show put him on another show but um, I, I don't have a problem putting my boxes on other people's shows if I think the the outcome is likely to be favorable for my guy you know then why not let them pay the the wages um, hopefully I can then get my guy out again straight after as really we have done with with Andre Sterling you know he's just boxed um Kurt Garvey, who's a former ABA champion, and that, that tells you something of the quality of Andre Sterling, because to go against away from home against an ABA champion and walk off with a win, you know, he really rolled the dice there. And I really liked his, you know, he really grew on me from the moment we started talking about that fight, because there was no like, oh, but look, his last fight, he beat this guy, and I don't, right, in straight away, yeah, I'm going to beat him. I'll fight him, I'm going to beat him. I'll definitely beat him. I'll beat, and as a manager or promoter, that's exactly what you you really want from your fighters. You want guys that believe in themselves, because for me to do the job properly, I have to put my heart and soul into it. I do put my heart and soul into it, but I cannot do that if I don't believe in the fighter. And if the fighter doesn't believe in himself, then what chance do I <laughs> to believe in him? So. Um, to have someone who's got that sort of level of dedication and uh, conviction in his own ability, um, it makes it much easier for me to push myself those extra miles, to make those extra phone calls, to try and make those fights that are going to help him a lot along the way. So um, we, um, we've got a big, big opportunity tonight. Um, if you're going to bet one way or the other, I'd say bet on Andre Sterling. I think, um, I mean, I, I really favour him, but like I say, I'm... I'm clearly biased because I have a financial involvement with him um, and for me that the betting opportunity is the James DeGale fight but the Sterling versus uh, uh, Ricky Summers fight for me I think it's probably the one that appeals to me more in terms of being spectacular because I think it will be spectacular I think you'll get fireworks possibly early in the fight and also I think um, it's the, the one that really gets my excitement as a boxing fan. I know it's not as big profile as the names, you know, De Gale and Eubanks. He's like Olympic champion, son of a world, world champion. But the uh, in terms of the, the boxing contest, uh, Sterling against Summers is a great, great fight. I'm really pleased to give it to ITV because I, mean, I used to watch ITV as a kid. So to help them sort of get their, their boxing content going um, and good, you know, it's not like a rubbish fight. You know, I mean, I looked at Stiverne at the way and Richard Schaefer was saying what amazing shape he looked in and yeah he's to me he didn't Stiverne looked way out of shape and I, I think he's going to be punished for that against Joe Joyce Joe Joyce is um you know a decent level fighter uh, Olympic medalist he he looked in really good shape and I favor him against Stiverne but um like I say I think that the, the betting opportunity is is the gale the the spectacular fight that's going to catch everyone's eye is going to be Sterling against Summers and I'm really looking forward to it. Please keep your fingers crossed for me and um, all of Andre Sterling and his team and uh, we'll see you again soon on the Hellraiser blog. If you've enjoyed the blog, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks guys, see you soon. See you then. Bye bye.